I'm gluing my acorns. Actually, they didn't all need glued, but some of them came off the top. Well, we got tops and we got bottoms, so gluing them together. And that was such a fun weekend. We were in Indiana. Some of you were saying, where did you get these acorns? <laughs> you obviously don't have acorns where you live either. <laughs> they fall off of oak trees. And a lot of you were saying these are burr oak acorns. I never knew that. I guess we had a tree at the very first house trout and I lived at, is what he said. I've heard lots of horror stories from you guys about your acorns <laughs> that included things Horse. like maggots and mice eating your... <laughs> I'm hoping that's not going to happen to me. I baked them. 200. Don't put your oven higher than 200. <laughs> And check it very often. One of you one time when I was doing the bake, bake the bugs out thing in these wood pieces that I had, put your oven on, I think it was 450. <laughs> Don't do that. And that was such a fun weekend with Antique Candle Co. My sisters, my daughters said best day ever. Alicia, my niece, we had so much fun with them. They're the most, they're some of the most sweet, sincere, genuine people that you'll ever meet. And thank you guys for all the tree farm support. I'm so excited for you guys to get your candles and it was awesome It was just an awesome time and so much fun to to see family too. Making baked oatmeal My kids have fall break this week. So Trav's home. My kids are home Except for Hallie And oh the, the sale is still going on for tree farm. I think through Saturday and so if you're wanting to try out tree farm now is the time because it's still 20% off and free shipping on anything tree farm. King got released from his concussion protocol this morning. So when do you get to play in a game? Oh, next Friday. As long as you're feeling good, right? Uh -huh. We don't have one this Friday so because this week's our bye week. Hmm. I believe it's been two years since we made this candle together with Natalie from Vintage Porch. It was so cool. She actually came to the candle studio here in Lafayette, Indiana. How amazing is that? We had the best day. I am going to easy off this. It's the bottom to that marble coffee table. Hopefully it will look really cool when it's done. And the marble top, I need to sand it down. Do you think I can use my sander? I have a new rug to show you. And Chester wants to show you too. These are from... I got two of these runners. They're 12, 12 foot runners. They're so pretty too. They're from Laloy Rugs. They have a collaboration right now going with Amber Interiors. And this is the color Ocean Sand. What I love about these rugs is they look like the old antique rugs that I love so much. And they're like super easy to wash. I would either take mine out. I would probably take it outside. I would probably just take it outside and spray it down if I needed to wash it. And being in the hallway here where we have high traffic, I'm probably going to need to eventually. So I'm glad that it's easy to do that. And I don't have to shave it down. It's already shaved. <laughs> it's just really pretty with like, I, I was thinking it was going to be a lot of browns and tans and a little bit of blue. But I would say there is some tan in there, but it's it shows some blush too. We have lots of other colors too in this collaboration not just this one and very well priced i think they're very good prices on these rugs and i've had the loy rugs before and they're always really good quality and they sent me a big one for upstairs and some pillows too look what trav got for me you can clean ovens till your heart's content heart's content trav used easy off this weekend when i was gone to clean the shower to try to clean the shower i didn't leave it on yeah. I think it works. One of you know. said, lady, what? someone said, told me that they used it on their shower yeah. and it worked. The lady wanted to know why. <laughs> so much. Did she really? I told her my wife had a pie baking accident. Oh, okay. <laughs> and these are the pillows from Amber Interiors Collection in the Loy Rugs. I really like them all. The inserts are really nice too. And then they have these zippers on the back. You can take the covers off if you need to.
so I have this old vintage table. Um, it was my grandmother's, and there's a marble piece that goes on the top. Natalie over at Vintage Porch swears that easy off. We'll take this finish off. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. And they have tons of patina. Easy off. How cute is this book about birds? With all these cute pictures. It's only $2. It's half off of four. Does this say a puppy bed? Puppy bed? Puppy bed. What do you guys think about this basket? I like that. Ooh, look at these. <gasps> these are so cool. Ninety five dollars. Chester County. This could be Chester's treasure. <laughs> One of the candles that I poured at Antique Candle Co. with my sister and family when we went there and it's called apple butter and I love apple candles and it smells amazing. Oh, so, so good for fall. The table turned out so cute. It looks like it was meant for this rug in the whole room. I was thinking about getting rid of it because of all those scratches on top. I I was the one that put those in there <laughs> because of my big potted plants and stuff. I had a big terracotta one that was on there and it just scraped into the marble. But I sanded it with the orbital sander and the 60 grit sandpaper and it worked really good. Scratches are totally gone. And I love the matte finish like this. I'm wondering if I could seal it with that flat out flat general finishes. I don't know if it has to be a special marble sealer or not, I need to check in into that. If you know. On my feed post, if you swipe over, I did a little video and a close up of the table with no brightening. So you could see that like the true colors in the rug with, there's not much light in here except for the daylight coming through the window and a close up of the table. Let me know. But I was also wanted to show you Marion's book. This is Miss Mustard Seed here on Instagram. If you're not following her, you are missing out. She's one of my favorite bloggers of all time. I love everything she shares. She's super creative, does amazing projects. And this book, <laughs> it's got to be one of my favorite design books ever in the ever of Everest. I love it so much. And I was going to take it on the plane and just like soak it all in on the way back to Indiana and I forgot it here at home. I was so mad at myself. She's showing here how she put this fabric up on the wall as like wallpaper. Wall fabric. I've learned so many things from Marion. I've watched tons of her YouTube tutorials. She's just so talented. You will not regret having this book. And I ordered mine on pre-sale and then she surprised me and sent me a copy. So now I have two. I can give one to a friend because it just, it makes the perfect gift. And I'll put the link here on the screen. A week or so ago, I saw Natalie from Vintage Porch use an oven cleaner to strip away the top coat of her vintage mirror. And I thought, that's brilliant. I'm going to use that on my vintage jewelry cabinet. Well, turns out. 